Hello. So what I have here is y equals 3x squared plus 12x minus 18. And remember, whenever we're solving a quadratic, we always want to see what can we factor out first. But when completing the square, solving by completing the square and factoring, I'm not going to be concerned about factoring out of everything. Um, I'm only going to be concerned about factoring out of our terms that we're going to want to create into a perfect square trinomial. And we notice that 18 is not a perfect square. And plus, we have my a is 1. So we're not going to be able to create our perfect square that we're looking for. So I'm going to set this equal to 0 because we're going to try to solve. And now what we need to do is we need to create a perfect square trinomial. And remember, when I was talking about creating perfect square trinomials, we have to make sure that our a is going to be equal to our 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to factor out a 3 only out of the first two terms. I'm not going to be concerned with this last term. So when I factor out a 3, I'm left with an x squared plus 4x minus 18. Now I need to find the value of c that's going to make this a perfect square trinomial. Oh, I'm sorry, not need to find. We're going to create it. So to do that, I'm simply just going to take b divided by 2 and square it. Well, my b in this case is 4 divided by 2 squared. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 2 squared is equal to 4. Now I need to make sure I add that to the right and the left side to make my equation even. So I add 4 to 0, which is 4, equals 3 times x squared plus 4x plus 4 minus 18. You can see now, within this parentheses, I've created a perfect square trinomial, which we can now factor down to a binomial squared, which is x plus 2. However, my equation is not equal right now. Because you can say, yes, you added a 4 on both sides. But this 4 is being multiplied by 3, as is everything else in this parentheses. So since everything in here is being multiplied by 3, or by uh, 3, if I added the 4 here and here, well, this 4 is not being multiplied by 3, but this one is. So therefore, this one has a greater value on the right side. So to make my equation equal, I need to multiply by 3 on the left side. Then I have 12 equals 3 times x plus 2, the factored form of my uh, trinomial, minus 18. Now, all I simply need to do is just apply my inverse operations. So I'll add 18. So therefore, I get 30 equals 3 times x plus 2 squared. Now, I undo the multiplication of 3 by dividing. So if I have 10 equals x plus 2 squared, now I can take the square root of that. And make sure when you take the square root, you introduce the plus and the minus. And then I look at this, and I, you, know, you always want to say, you know, is, can you simplify the square root of 10? Unfortunately, we cannot break that down any further. So we're just going to have the square root of 10, say so square root. Therefore, um, so now I have, that's in it. So I have plus or minus the square root of 10 equals x plus 2. So now I subtract 2 on both sides. And my final answer is going to be x equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 10. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve by completing the square. Thanks.